Nino Brown Box Center back in the building. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. So I was listening to a lot of the post-fight videos from this Regis Pro Grade fight. I was listening to the big homie 78 Sports TV and Black Fan TV collab live stream. And it definitely got me thinking about the whole situation where Regis Pro Grade challenged Lomachenko. Now, like I took, I took a second to sit back and really think about this. I mean, the brothers, you know, Black Fight fan, he was making a good point about, you know, how you want to challenge uh, Lomachenko when you got Terrence Crawford to challenge you and you're not going to say his name. And it's like, I get it. And it makes 100% sense. Like, it makes sense. And to me, that's what would happen in, the per in a perfect world. But then again, I also look at it like it seems like Regis has no plans on moving up to 147 pounds anytime soon. Um, so it wasn't it it wouldn't make sense for him to go up and fight Terrence Crawford, especially in a division where there's so many politics, and a lot of the guys aren't fighting one another anyway. Now, when it comes to the low Machenko part, I look at it like. Not necessarily to any fault of Lomachenko, but through delusional fight fans and one-sided biased media, like a lot of these people like to put Lomachenko number one pound for pound over Terrence Crawford. Now, if that's the consensus of the mainstream boxing media, then it makes sense. Why wouldn't Regis, the number, the number one 140-pound boxer, why wouldn't he uh, challenge Loma? Loma right now, he's at 135 pounds. You know, you're calling him the number one pound for pound guy. Well, if you're number one pound for pound and you're fighting at 135 pounds, moving up five pounds to fight at 140, it shouldn't be a big jump. Now, I look at it, when you look at it that way, that also makes perfect sense. Um, everyone believes at this point in Lomachenko's career he can beat damn near everyone at 135. That's what most people believe anyway. Now the challenge comes in, well, what happens when when Loma faces um someone bigger? Now, even though, you know, I was just thinking, man, it's either Loma Chinko, he's a, he's a very logical guy or his PR team is amazing. Because of like a lot of the bullshit that's going on in these situations, you can't directly link it to Loma. Because I was about to go off on the point that well, Loma, he's fighting this. He's, he fought plenty of smaller guys. He fought Guillermo Rigondeaux. But even with the whole Guillermo Rigondeaux fight build up, Loma Chico, he said on his own like this guy's too small. He shouldn't be fighting me. But he, you know it is what it is. But at the same time. At the same time, they fought anyway. It's a damn bee trying to sting me. At the same time, they fought anyway. So, since they fought, I'm like, hey, man, you might as well, you might as well call out Lomachenko. Calling out Lomachenko is not going to, um, it's not going to hurt you. Some people may say, well, why would Regis do that? You know, it doesn't make any sense. And I look at it like this. If Regis Progray puts Lomachenko in a compromised position where it's a big fight, he puts Lomachenko's name in his mouth, he continues to call the guy out, I mean, you're going to have some people, you're going to have some detractors to say Lomachenko can beat Regis. And then once that snowball starts rolling, it's just going to get bigger and bigger. And it's going to get to a point where the fight has to happen. Now, the politics associated with this fight, we don't necessarily know how that all will play out. But you can, I mean, at this point, it's just all talk. Like, it's just a lot of talk. And right now, even thinking about it, 
basically, do I want to see the fight? Yeah. I want to see the fight because the hype surrounding Lomachenko. A lot of the hype surrounding Lomachenko is saying he's the number one pound-for-pound guy. And I'm saying if you're the number one pound-for-pound fighter moving up another weight class, it shouldn't affect you. If you're the most skillful guy in boxing right now, you should be able to move up to 140 and knock off the top dog. As simple as that. Um, even if Lomachenko decided that he wanted to move up and he wanted to take a tune-up at 140, me personally, I would be okay with that. I think a good fight for him would be someone like a Victor Paul style type fighter. Someone that's not undefeated, but he's a long, rangy guy. And he'll see how he can fare at 140 pounds. Now, after his last fight against Linares, when he got knocked down, you know he definitely fought through that adversity. And that was a good sign for Lomachenko. But moving up to 140 pounds, man, just power-wise, a lot of those guys would be heavy hitters. And it's only going to – it's going to – it's like we talk about Lomachenko's skill, but at the same time, it's gonna get to a point where it's gonna get to a point where guys are able to take his punches. His punching power won't necessarily be able to affect them, and he's gonna have to rely purely on skill to get past his opposition. Now, to me, I think this is one of the unfortunate parts of being moved along in your career so fast so early on you move it up multiple weight classes grabbing all of these belts but he's been fighting smaller guys that if they're not it's been he's been fighting smaller guys that he has superior skills to but if they were an opponent that pretty much even in skill he definitely had a dramatic size advantage over them now moving up to 140 it's going to get to a point where Lomachenko is going to have to face someone that's close to his technical ability, but the power the power difference is going to be such a large gap. He probably won't be able to overcome it. And a lot of I think a lot of the pro experience that a lot of fighters get when they're in their 16, 17, 18 fight, you know, Lomachenko is actually missing out on that. Some people say he wouldn't need it, he doesn't need it, but I just look at it like. I feel like these fighters go through this for a reason. So, we just have to wait and see what happens. But the overall point of this video was basically saying I would love to see Regis Provere face Lomachenko. And, you know, the whole thing about the Terrence Crawford part, at some point, Regis is going to move up to 147 anyway. So, I feel like him, Regis Provere and Terrence Crawford being in the same division is the inevitable. And since that's the case, what sense does it make to call out the bigger man first when the way your career is going, it seems like you're going to be at that weight class anyway. But that's just my take on it, guys. It's Nino Brown Boxing. Shout out to the LDBC. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe.